Good afternoon. I'm Paul Peterson. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Education Next, and I have with me today the person who does so many reviews of books for Education Next, Nathan Glazer, who has been a professor over at the School of Education here at Harvard for many, many years. He uh, has uh, written a review for Education Next called, uh, it's a book by Larry Cuban called As Good As It Gets, What School Reform Brought to Austin, Texas. Yeah. So what's the main point? What does good as it gets mean? So well, mean? Uh, the main point, uh, uh, Pat Forgione, uh, who was now at the Education Testing Service. Uh, he was the superintendent. He there, was he? appointed superintendent at uh, the beginning, about 2000. He was at Penn for 10 years. He had many difficult problems when he came in. The Austin uh, School District had, was having trouble with the state because it had... Uh, so what did he do? What did he do to fix it? What did he do? Up? Well, uh, he, he was a success, so let's put it that way, as superintendents go. Uh, but Larry Cuban is h holding off uh, uh, total uh, enthusiasm. Uh, what he did, he was enormously energetic. He uh, uh, impressed the school board. Uh, was able to get more money, was able to deal with the problem of uh, the fact that Texas was taking money away from prosperous districts like Austin and giving them to poorer districts, was able to overcome its uh, record as what, being... Did he, did he inspire teachers? I mean, what did well, he... Uh, he that brought sounds like in the usual a lot of consultants. Politics. He brought in a lot of consultants. Uh -huh. And uh, he... There was a there was a, a, a record a record of improvement a record of improvement at the elementary school level. That's where uh, you always find improvement. That's right. You and never find improvements except at the elementary Im level. Some improvement on graduation, a slight improvement on going on to college. Uh, and Larry Cuban's main point, and he does have a main point, is he was enormously energetic and very successful but politically. But this is not as good as it gets. Well, it's as good as Cuban thinks it can get, or he, what he is saying is that all this activity up above, this is his main point, we don't know how all this activity up above, bringing in all these consultants, reorganizing, reorganizing, you know, again and again, how it affects classroom activity. He does see at the final record some improvement, and he is, uh, though the number of schools... Uh, listed as, uh, uh, you know, not good, were about the same at the end of his uh, sequence as at the beginning. And Cuban says we have to find out how all this uh, storm and turmoil up above affects the teacher in the classroom. And he feels that, uh, you know, he, he was commissioned to study this superintendency. He had uh, known for Joni as a student at Stanford, Maybe that was the problem. He had all this training at Stanford. It seems to me the guy was working on the political angle rather than working well, on the Well, but how could one escape better? working on the political angle? I mean, the point is he had, uh, the, the, there had been, in the decade before him, there had been three different superintendents, and clearly the political angle is important in order to develop any time for continuity. On the other hand, he didn't really... Uh, I, there was less continuity than you might expect because he kept on bringing in these highly reputed uh, consultant groups, University of Pittsburgh and a uh, group of Texas and so on. So they on. cycled in one after another. That's right. And, he, they, and Cuban does quote uh, various teachers as saying, oh, one week is this, and next week is that, and next week is something else, well, that's and what, we're going crazy. That's what uh, uh, Rick Hess said in his book, Spinning Wheels, that superintendents yeah, well, come in and they first try this and then they try that. This so, so now the question is, what's better? I don't know. He, as good as it gets, he uses that title skeptically, mainly, mainly meaning... Which could be better, but this is about as get, as good as we can so get. So he must be recommending charter schools where you can come in, start from the bottom, and create a school and really stick to it over he, the long run. Well, all to, uh, he, he his main recommendations that comes down as uh, further down as main recommendations. His main recommendations are 
I want to find out what all this turmoil on the top does at the classroom level. We have need more examination, more uh, monitoring. How does this affect uh, teachers? So anecdotally, he indicates it affects them by confusing them, but possibly also, uh, to some extent, drawing more energy out of them, drawing more energy out of the principles and so on, getting something out of them. His second, so change he, is good for its own sake. Uh, well, if you paint the walls green, then you paint them blue. You just so you well, he's not saying that. He said it turned, out, it turned out that all this activity did lead to some improvement in the results. Now, he does not, uh, this is not where he wants to stop. He wants to know, uh, he wants to go to the classroom level. Uh, by the way, his first uh, three recommendations, as I recall, are first, monitoring. Secondly, don't neglect the top schools, which is interesting, because all this energy was bringing up uh, the bottom schools, getting them out of the uh, whatever rating they had is uh, uh, inadequate. Uh, and the third, uh, so the second is that we should not forget the top schools yeah, yeah. and give them more freedom. He moves there in the charter and direction, give right. them more freedom to do things. Yeah. Because, and what's uh, his third recommendation? His third recommendation is work the bottom schools. Well, then that's saying <laughs> work the top, work the bottom. Okay, Nick, okay. Now, this is a really fascinating discussion. And the book does <laughs> sound to me like it's, uh, it's a good read. It's a good read. He's a good writer, and and for Joan, he was listed uh, 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 in the standard uh, accounts with the best school superintendents of the first decade of uh, the millennium. Well, thank you, Nathan, for being okay. with us today. All right. Uh,